What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be talking about what is coming Monday. So we know that we do get new epics or new legends, whatever way you want to call them boys. These are the booster epics. So we currently have Schmeichel, Petit and Lee Dixon. We did spin and we got Dixon but that was all we did. We did two cheeky spins and got Dixon first. Uh, we didn't go deep for Schmeichel or Petit. And we're going to take a look at what comes next. Also, this pack does include special edition players. So, for example, here you will have the likes of Varane, Gavardiel, that will be included in these. So, when we go over to eFootball DB, we're actually going to see what is coming Monday. Now, this is kind of a bit of a guessing game. Obviously, we thought last week that Mertesecker was going to come, but he didn't. Instead, it was Petit. So, it can be switched up a little bit as well. But with the Italian League selection, you can see what date it is here on the DB. So, this is going to be coming the 26th of February. Obviously, you know, it, it can change, as I said, with the epics. But we do have a fair idea as to what epics will be coming based on this packet that we see here, including uh, the likes of Kustic coming. Uh, Ferguson coming, Mickey coming, all these boys that you see here. So this is going to be the selection of pack that you see here. The same as with the likes of Varane and players like that. Because obviously it's all going to come down to whether or not um, these packs include, you know, what legends that they include. They're going to be tied to that. So obviously this was the Guardians pack and this is going to be a midfielders pack. So with that in mind, we are going to take a look as to what is going to be coming with this next Monday, which is tomorrow by the time this video drops so we do have a couple of players that we think are going to be coming we've got Ambrosini here we've got Baggio and of course we have Rijkaard now a lot of people have also said that we might um get like a 99 or 100 level Baggio I think with the level system Rijkaard will definitely be 100 I think he'll be around that 100 mark with the booster um shout out to CTE football on Twitter here for getting this image up um but Baggio I think and Rijkaard and Ambrosini they're going to be kind of players that we need to take a look at a little bit more detail because I think Rijkaard obviously is one of the only players that I have regretted not spinning for his original card because he has had a previous card in the game. But yeah, it, it just depends, man. It depends on what they're going to try and go for um, with these cards. I think Rijkaard will definitely be there or thereabouts with the kind of meta style gameplay, right? Um, as to having like, you know, a lot of people will say that Rijkaard is, is going to be a bit slow. And obviously, if you look at this stats here, he's actually down in the database at the moment as an anchorman. So it's a DMF anchorman, but he can play multiple positions. Um, kind of like, you know, Vieira in that role. That's where I think he's going to excel. Even with 28 levels, which obviously this level system, this level rating at 28 at the moment is just a placeholder. It's not finalized. Um, and as I said, these players are 99% sure to come, but there is that 1% chance. Um, so I would wait, obviously, until the Monday to see. But we're just taking a look at what is coming. And this Rijkaard as a DMF, I mean, you don't need acceleration. The only reason you need acceleration, lads, honestly, forgetting about his boosters here, I know that the boys at eFootball DB are working on a booster and manager um, implementation here, integration. Um, but forget about, you know, having your DMF as a fast mobile uh, acceleration type player. I mean, if you're playing a double pivot with Makalele there or Kante or somebody in that mold, he's your mop-up man. He's your groundskeeper, Willie from The Simpsons, the janitor. He's going to be mopping up everything and all the messes and spills that happen in midfield. Rebounds, collisions, all that sort of stuff, chasing down like an angry dog. But Rijkaard or the likes of Vieira as anchorman, they're going to just sit deep and be able to just have those long limbed animations. And obviously Rijkaard is 190 cm, so that's going to help. And even at this, lads, defensively, he's going to be an absolute beast. Um, this is without the booster but say he gets a plus four to his booster and his manager boost you're going to have pretty much all his defensive stats into the 90s which is really really nice and you're also going to be able to get that speed if you're using a, a normal uh, plus two manager boost at 85 that's also going to include the fact that he's got fairly decent high possession at 80 and fairly decent low pass with the manager boost so i think that this is going to be a very good card in my opinion um the only thing I would say that you will need to decide is whether you want to have him with a little bit of aerial ability and then throw the rest into defense, which will obviously max out his defense. Or if you wanted to, of course, you could just pop those into uh, lower body and get that speed to 90 with 10 hags. So this is going to be a very strong card. And even on top of that, this rating that you're seeing here, these stats... They don't have the manager boost taken into consideration, so you're going to get a plus two to everything, and they don't have his booster. And also, on top of that, he's going to probably have another two to three levels. So he is going to be absolutely broken, in my opinion, and he'll be similar to Vieira, who I think is the best player in the game, pound for pound. We're also going to have Baggio. So Baggio hasn't appeared 
in a long time in eFootball or in PES. He was in a good while ago. And obviously, when you're looking at Baggio, Baggio is going to be another card that I think is going to fall through the cracks a little bit unless you like playing with these kind of tight possession players that you're going to have really, really high dribbling off the, off the rip. He's not going to be the paciest, but, you know, that could be... That can sometimes be a good thing, I think, if you're used to playing with really pacey players and then you obviously switch to a player that you need to be able to shoot with a little bit more. I don't think that Badger is going to have more than 31 levels. He's got 29 here, but this is going to be a very interesting card. I will be spinning, so I will be doing a big stream Monday, so make sure you guys do check it out. And then, of course, we also have Ambrosini, who is down as a destroyer. Now, Ambrosini could be a little bit of a... A little bit of a kind of a hidden gem of this pack. Obviously, all eyes are going to be on Rykard and Baggio. Ambrosini has had an epic uh, before, and it's not been a bad card. I know a lot of people like this card as a destroyer. I mean, if you clear the pack or if you're if you're trying to get Baggio and you get Ambrosini, it's not a bad card to have if you can kind of play to his strengths and not try and make him something that he's not. He's going to have 80 speed, 80 acceleration. His dribbling is going to be a little bit poor and his passing isn't going to be the best. But again, it's not a it's not a it's not a card that you can kind of sniff your nose at if you are, you know, expecting what you're going to be getting out of him um straight off the rip as kind of like a chasing kind of player that is able to like just do everything averagely or averagely is that even a word? Average. But yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. I do think that obviously if Ambersini Rikard and Baggio come, all eyes will be on Rikard and Baggio, they're the two big boys that people want, um, but let me know what you guys think, obviously we'll have to do a bit of a training guide on them tomorrow, we'll test them out, we will be streaming tomorrow, a fairly beefy stream tomorrow Monday, um, it's going to be a good one, we've got a couple of announcements to make, we've got a couple of things to talk about, we'll be doing live tier lists as well, and of course we will be spinning for Rikard and Baggio, so it is going to be a good stream, hope to see you guys there, until then, I will talk to you in a bit, have a good rest of the day, Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.